Oh, that's right. Yes. <clears throat> that wasn't there the other day when I was up here. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. rough in there. That wasn't there the other Wednesday, Mike. Yeah, it's still higher than it. Yeah. It might be easier backwards. Yeah, yeah that'll be, yeah, you're right. Backward would be better. Is it that one? Good. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got what I was I got this. Okay. He's turning around. That's good. That's good. I got this other step stool, Mike. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I don't want to be this. No. Yeah, I can see it from behind. Yeah, go straight down. Wait, that way. Wait, which way? Straight down. Yeah, wait for me, Stan. Wait for us. Yeah, we're going to get a, another step stool down there in a moment.
Okay, boys. This one of those cars? Yes. Yes, I thought it was. It was, was built in the 66th Street sh shops of Third Avenue, 66 and Third, and built. They tried a man named Slaughter Huff was was the owner or operator of the system. The Mayor LaGuardia wanted Boy, to get rid closer. of the old-fashioned street oh, cars, and oh, he thank did. You. And the streetcars ran, they were beautiful, with a slot, underground slot. There was a, between the two main rails, there was a, an opening. And they, they used that. They switch. They had places in Manhattan where they went from power cable to underground cable. They had what they call a pit man. He worked in the pit. He changed over the rig. Because Manhattan requires no overhead wires. Right. But I rode these to my grandmother's house. And in 1940, <coughs> this was slick. The lighting was nice. It was under those things. And they had windshield wipers. The old cars didn't. Yeah, <coughs> yeah it's, a, it's a very interesting car. It's a very, very unique car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. it's... it's uh, there's not a lot of operators here qualified to to run it, oh, uh, partly because we haven't run it for a few years, you know. Right, it, it has no <coughs> brake pedal. You brake the car by lifting up That's on the... That's correct. Yeah. It's called the dead man's <coughs> button. Yes. And to stop the car, you lift your foot up. That is correct. I, I was, used to I run was, it myself. I was reading an article on this a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and apparently, when the cars first went out to Vienna, 
they had any number of accidents for that very reason that the brake pedal is not intuitive right and it took them a long time to teach their operators how to run the cars uh, by lifting up their <laughs> legs lifting up, yeah. it yeah. causes a des dead man's button yeah. Yeah. but once you get the hang of it it's very very easy to run yes. oh but yes. it's but it's getting getting oh. that non-intuitive <coughs> way of operating yeah interesting right and now have you seen it since it was restored uh, yes oh good yes okay. i came here after it. we Did drove you? it yeah they good. gave us you know this yeah. kind of a tour wish we could do this yeah yeah when was it I'm not sure that uh, we came first in '69. We bought the car. I have letters from Vienna in '72. Right. And then um, they brought it here. There was a transportation museum in Boston <coughs> that brought it over. I gave them the first contribution. Then they said we need somebody to help ship it over, and they managed that school on Commonwealth Avenue. I uh, helped them bring it over then it was shipped to seashore yeah i think we put it into service in either 93 or 94 might have been the tail end of 93 i'm not quite sure but something around that time frame because i remember we had come and it was in the shop i mean it wasn't yeah. completed it was in the shop for a long time yeah it'll take time you're all volunteers yeah, yeah. No, a gentleman called uh, Richard Lane, R.T. Lane, was the one who did most of the restoration on it. And I met him in 1993. I remember it very well because he was painting one of the doors uh, up at the shop. And I think he was instrumental in, in, in persuading me to join the museum back then in, in, in 93. And um, so when I started here, yeah, it must have been 94, I maybe could have been 95 when it came into service, but... But they asked us if we'd like to run it one day, and yep. we did. Yeah, good, good. Yeah. Wish we could do the same today, but... Yes. It is not to be. No, well, right. We appreciate your taking us down here to see <laughs> it, though. It's great. I, mm -hmm. I saw up on the, the history that it, it said it didn't arrive at the museum until 1981, did it take? Because he, he... I thought it was like 1970. I wish I knew the whole story. My understanding is that there were a whole bunch of these went went out to Austria. Something like fifty of them. Yes. Yeah. 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 And and five of them came back as a group in the well. I'm going to say in the sixties. Well, it says that they after they served in Austria, the last of these cars, including car 631, were retired in December 1969. That was in Austria. Right. Yes. Retired. Yeah. Well, and then I have the letters in my garage from Austria. It says it says eight of the forty-two cars were set aside by the Viennese Transport Authority for Historic Preservation and survive today in railway museums. <coughs> three in the United States, of which car thirty-one. Yeah. One there are in Austria. There's yeah. one in Washington D.C. National Capital Trolley Museum. Well, I hate to one break. Go. Yeah. Go on. One is uh, at. Uh, uh, in Connecticut, New yep. Haven, Connecticut, yep. and here. Right. Uh, the one at National Capital, they lost in a fire oh. some number of years back. Oh. And there's one other car in Kreitsch at the National Tramway Museum in England. In, in England. Yeah. And I think there's one more over here as well. Brantford has one. Brantford? Yeah, we were there that's, two years ago when we were operating it. We actually got to drive it. Good, <laughs> yeah, good. I think it was 6.29. Yeah. yeah. Yep, that sounds familiar. That's yeah. right. So yeah, that, so that that it said there were three that were here, so it must have been Brantford here and then the Washington one that was lost. So that means yeah, there's I, two remaining I, in I, the US. I thought there was a fourth one. But it anyway. says... Oh, you're better at this than I am. But she's reading. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing it. Yeah, she's reading. There was two points. So then you saw the, 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 the car in... Hush. 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 When you were traveling. And you were Did you see yeah. it? What was the story? Oh, you? oh. I, one of my streetcar magazines said there were some cars up for sale. Oh. They wanted $500 equivalent. So Is that I what? gave them 250 and they said, now we need to bring it over. It took two years yeah. in 1973 to bring it over. And it stayed at some <laughs> exhibit on Commonwealth Avenue. 
And then it was easy to ship it from Boston here to Kenny Bunport. So there's your timeline. Yeah, yeah the yeah. three years yeah. in there, and then it took yeah. time. So then they yeah, that's on the about boat. right. It was in operation when my wife and I came. We always like a visit of after being in Miami in the summer. I love Miami. We lived there 50 years, but it's brutal during the summer. Right. Yeah. So we cool off in Maine. Good. And Good. I love the lava. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but he arranged for the shipment from Vienna or helped arrange because he knew the Austrian consul yeah. general who in Miami, who, and he speaks German, so he helped with the paperwork. Okay. That was in the late 60s or early 70s, but it yeah. didn't arrive here until 1981. So I right, well he just said that it took a couple of years to get it over here, then it was on display in Boston uh, on Commonwealth Avenue for a few years, yes. then it took a few years to get it shipped up here, Okay. so, so, so he's right and she's right yeah. reading <coughs> off the cheat sheet when you figure <laughs> three years on display, 71 took a couple of years, 73, 76, yeah, that would be just about right. Well, it said that it was, it says here that it was sent um, to, it was moved to Germany by road and then it was sent by container ship to Halifax <laughs> and then it came, when it came into port at Port Smith, New Hampshire. <coughs> but I think actually there might be a mistake on this because it, it says in the, the German under here, the picture in 1967, and then I, I don't know. There's just something weird about the date because it says that it was it was left Austria in 1981. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Mister, do you have the letters? Yes, I have. Do you still? Yeah, maybe we should uh, make copy and digitize them yes. and send them to the museum. I I think we would love to have those in the yes. li in the library. Yeah, and, yeah and exactly. we can we can do all the copying and digitizing. Oh, yeah. So we should do that. Yeah, if, if you that's a good idea. If you that's can put them together, they'd be you know they're part of the of the Carlos Providence and exactly, history. That'll be part yeah. of the library. That's yeah. a great friends, I will have them. the Austrian Consulate General was a really nice guy and he helped me. Um, Are you ruling German to the consul? Yes. 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 Um, well, when next time we go to Miami um, to visit them. Which hopefully will be like in December. We, we can. Oh, when it. it's cold up here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. When it's cold in the north. Oh, I have off work. I lived in Florida for eight uh, years. Then we'll. Uh, Too much cut. We, as we make them come up in the summer. <laughs> when, it, when it's, I'll go. Yeah. I'll try to the get the. traffic the, um, is brutal in Miami. I'll try to get. I'll try to. We'll try Traffic's to get the letters. Yeah, that that really would be fabulous. It really would. It, it, we we must have some documentation on this, obviously. But yeah. And you know. So that would be great to have the original car. I mean, some of the stories behind some of these cars, we've got a car from uh, Budapest uh -huh. that um, at the time we were trying to get it because it was uh, East Germany, uh -huh. or well, Eastern East Europe. of Europe. Yeah. It was Eastern um, Europe, yeah. You know, we couldn't buy it, they couldn't export it, right. and all those kind of things. We right. had to jump through hoops. We ended up buying the owner a Hasselblad camera uh -huh. and that was the trade oh. which yeah. avoided currency issues mm -hmm. you know. Right. Oh, that's yeah, that's interesting. <coughs> yeah. This is a beautiful car. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. The wicker seats are beautiful. Yeah. Daddy, did they, do you remember the wicker seats from when you were a kid? Yes. Yes, they were, they were good because <coughs> they were, um, New Orleans used cherry wood. They have a New Orleans car. What's but these 